On YouTube you can find a lot of thrifting videos in which people show the items they've seen and bought at thrift stores. And that's fine, I like those videos, but in this case I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to show the items I will be donating to the thrift store for hopefully other people to see and buy. Now by the time you watch this video, all of these items, except for one thing I'll talk about later, will have already been donated to the thrift store. So don't attempt to post a comment saying you want one of these items. It'll be too late. First I'll start with some of the items you may have seen in my previous videos. Because I often get asked what ends up to all the items I show in my videos. Do I keep all of them? What kind of storage facility I have to keep the 10 years worth of stuff I've reviewed on my channel? Well, I don't have a storage unit and in terms of the stuff I've shown on my channel, if it's something new that I bought and I don't really like or have a use for, I just return it after my review. And if it's something I bought used that I don't really have a use for, I usually end up donating it to the thrift store. Unless it's something that's really valuable and I know I could sell for a decent profit on eBay, I do that once in a while, but most of the time listing and selling an item on eBay is more hassle than it's worth for me. So I just end up donating the item. Or in some cases, if it's something that's just so useless or it's clearly not working right or it's just in very poor condition, those go to the recycling center. And I do have a pile of items like that, but unfortunately due to recent events the recycling center is closed so that pile is sort of just building up and maybe eventually when that facility opens again i'll do a video showing all the items that will be recycled but first in terms of the items you may have seen in a previous video is this trisonic led light bulb which claims to be 100 watt equivalent but is nowhere near close it's still a useful light bulb but just not for me because i don't like the cool white light it gives off and it's just not a very good LED light bulb anyway. Same thing with this GPX portable speaker you may have seen a video about recently. Again, it's a perfectly functional product. It's just not good enough for me. And I don't really have a use for it. So maybe someone else will. More trisonic light bulbs, this time incandescent light bulbs. And as much as I like incandescent light bulbs, these are not nearly as bright as other 100 watt incandescent light bulbs so I don't really like to waste energy so if I'm going to be using a 100 watt incandescent light bulb I want to get my money's worth out of it and these do not so these will be donated. Next you may see this big assortment of cables and adapters. I have plenty of cables. These are duplicates of ones I already have or things I just don't have use for such as this Sony 6 volt DC adapter with a very small plug on it. I don't have anything this works with. I think I may have bought this for a tape recorder or a Walkman or something, which ended up not working out anyway. So I ended up with a unnecessary AC adapter and I'll just be donating that. And these two are just generic 12 volt DC adapters. I have higher quality ones than these. So these will be donated. Here is one of these tip ring ring sleeve video camera cables with composite video and stereo audio. I have plenty of these. I don't need an extra one, so that's getting donated. This is a subwoofer volume control from an old set of Cambridge Soundworks computer speakers. I bought this originally not because I have that set of speakers, but instead because I planned on using this as an attenuation control, but I ended up getting a much shorter cable version of this so I don't need one with this big long cable on it. You may recognize this as the cable that originally came with the Tyco video cam black and white video camera which I did a video about many years ago long before the 8-bit guy did a video about it. This is the original cable it came with an extension cable to connect the camera to your VCR because it doesn't have any built-in way of recording. Well, I don't have that camera anymore, and I don't have a use for such a long extension cable, especially one that's not really that high quality and is bright yellow, so maybe someone else will have a use for it, just not me. Likewise, this VGA monitor extension cable, I already have one of these, I don't need another one, so this will be donated. Likewise, of this VGA to DVI adapter, I already have one of these, I don't need another one. And this 
USB mini to standard size cable. I have plenty of these that are higher quality than this one, so this one's getting donated. Same thing with these cheap earbuds. I think I bought these at Dollar Tree for a dollar, and they sound like a dollar earbuds, but they do work, so they're getting donated. And other things that whose quality didn't really live up to my expectation are these two Redicus radios I recently reviewed. This one is a good sounding little radio, but the controls are very cumbersome to use. And this one, interesting little radio. I like the styling, but the controls are difficult to use, and the reception on AM is virtually non-existent. And these were promotional items I got for free for my review, so I wouldn't feel right trying to sell these, so these are just getting donated. Hopefully somebody will have a use for these little radios. Another little radio is this Sony Walkman. The radio part of it and the cassette player part of it works fine, but unfortunately none of these front panel controls work, including the high and low equalization controls, the mega bass on-off switch, and the Dolby NR off on-off switch. So the radio part of it works fine, cassette player work works fine, but the front panel controls do not work, probably because of the little cable going to them got broken contacts. So I have fully functional Walkmans. This one is not fully functional, but it's at least somewhat usable, so it's getting donated. This cheap little Kobe Discman, I don't have a use for it. Not very high quality anyway, but it does work, so it's getting donated. Here are some blank videotapes in original packaging. I have plenty of blank mini DV tapes in original packaging. I do not need another one. Same thing with this TDK 8mm videotape. I have plenty of Hi8 tapes. I don't have a use for a regular video tape, so it's getting donated. Another one of these video camera cables with the 3.5mm to composite and stereo audio. This is from Trisonic. And I love these sayings they put on their packaging. I usually advise people to devote half their time to the affairs of life and half their time to the practice of the teachings. This, I think, is a balanced approach for most people. Swa, swa, swa. Sometimes they put a different saying on the back, and fortunately this time it's the same saying on both sides. So, this one's getting donated, I don't have a use for it. And here's one of the more unusual items I'll be donating, car horns. This is from when I was upgrading my Jetta from a single tone horn to a dual tone horn. I bought an official upgrade kit from a company called A.A. Rodriguez. It came with the original cables, which were useful for me, but these horns that they sold it with were noticeably quieter than the original Volkswagen horns, which I did not like, so I ended up keeping the original Volkswagen horn and just adding the high tone from Volkswagen, not these aftermarket horns, which are not as good, but maybe someone else will have a use for these, especially for one of those cars that just has those cheap little Roadrunner horns. I've had a Roadrunner horn for the last time. I can't take it anymore. It's got to go. Here's what it sounds like. Absolutely horrible. Rest in peace, little Roadrunner. You're gone. Even though these are not as loud as the Volkswagen horns, they'll still be better than one of those. <laughs> Here's something I bought on Amazon. It's a scotch tape dispenser and pencil and pen holder made to look like a cassette tape, but unfortunately it does not match the item description on Amazon, which shows it with a nice matte finish around the edge and a sticker imitating the label of a cassette tape. Unfortunately, it does not come with the label and it comes with this really awful glossy paint finish. Even when I was 10 years old, I think I could do a better job of a spray paint can than what they did with this. It was only like $7, not worth it to try to return to Amazon. So I'm just going to be donating this, which is too bad because if this actually looked like it did in the Amazon listing, it would be pretty neat. Another one of these video cables, this one is a component video cable. I already have another one of these. I don't need an extra one, so it's getting donated. And finally, some CDs that I don't have any interest in. This is a sample surround compilation 
which caught my eye but unfortunately it's in this stereo surround system which is some no-name knockoff of the Dolby system I don't even think these were actually recorded in surround sound I think these are stereo recordings that you just sort of semi come out sounding like surround sound when you run them through a Dolby decoder which I think is what the whole idea behind stereo surround is. I think it's sort of like the equivalent of simulated stereo back in the 1960s. This was sort of like simulated surround sound instead of the real thing. And this is all just very generic classical music anyway, which I have better recordings of on other CDs, so I don't need this. I often buy CDs from artists I've never heard of, just in case they turn out to be good and I could use them in my videos because they often do not get copyright matches. But unfortunately this one will. So even though it's still sealed, I looked it up and it's in the copyright system so I couldn't be able to use this in my videos. But maybe someone will like this kind of music from Shauna Sweeney. And here is Luke Parkin. Things I didn't know I loved. Well, after listening to this album, it's something that I do know that I do not love because it's all just solo piano music, no vocals or anything. I do like instrumental music, but two CDs full of solo piano is just a little bit much for me. So that'll be getting donated, even though he kind of looks like Michael Bublé. And here's something that will be a giveaway to one of my lucky viewers if they're interested in it. This is the camcorder I used to record my video about the Redicus radios recently. It's a JVC Averio GZMS130 from 2009, standard definition camcorder. Includes the original battery, which is still good, although it probably doesn't hold as much of a charge as it used to. Includes an aftermarket power supply and a power cord, a very short USB cable, but it's better than nothing, and one of these cables for connecting it to your TV. Back in 2009, I was actually shopping for my first real camcorder to use for making YouTube videos, and I ended up with a Canon FS200, which I still have, and I still really like, even though I don't use it much anymore. This was another model I was considering, but I went with the Canon instead because it has external microphone and headphone jacks. Well, this one does not, but it does have a built-in stereo microphone LED light, automatic lens cover when you turn it on and if the battery is any good there it goes. So you can see it works fine you get I think 40 times optical zoom or something like that and it comes with this so-called laser touch system for going through the menus which never really worked as well as they sort of made it out to be because it's sort of sort of trying to be a touch screen even though it's not because the actual screen itself is not touch screen but this little part is i don't know what kind of horrible music this is this is supposed to be the classical music station they're playing this yeah that's a little bit much for me that's better don't expect the YouTube One Touch Upload feature to work because that's from 2009. They've changed their system so many times since then that it's just not going to work anymore. And this records video in the MOD format, not to be confused with the music files from Amiga computers. This MOD stands for Movie on Disk and it's MPEG-2 for custom file container. If you're recording 4x3 video, because this is switchable between widescreen and 4x3, if you're doing 4x3, you can just rename those files to MPG and they'll work fine and anything that supports MPEG-2 video. But if you're doing widescreen, you'll need a program that supports these MOD files. Or you can download a freeware program called SD Copy, which will losslessly convert the video files on this to standard MPEG video files. I actually did a video about that all the way back in 2009, if you want to learn more about that. But it's a perfectly functional camcorder just standard definition, not high definition, but if you have a use for that or you just want to fool around with it, see what you can do with it. It has built-in memory, what is it, 16 meg, 16 gigs, I should say, built-in memory, but it also has an SD card slot for adding more memory. 
They also had to model this, the, the 120, this is the 130, but the 120 had dual SD card slots. That's why you can see a blank here where that other one would have gone. So if you're interested in this, the best way to contact me is to go to Twitter, look up VWestlife1, which is my screen name there, and click the little envelope icon to send me a direct message. Or if you don't have Twitter, go to the about page of my YouTube channel and there'll be an email link there. This will obviously be first come first serve and it's going to be free. And if you're in the US, I'll even pay for the postage. But if you're outside the US, I'll ask you to pay for the postage. But keep in mind, this is NTSC. So if you live in a country that uses PAL, this may not be a good camcorder for you. As you can see, we treat our fans very, very well here. We love fans. We love our fans.